and welcome to my channel, Esthete in the City. If you're new here, hi! Thank you so much for joining me on my search for all things aesthetically pleasing through the avenues of fashion, style, and the occasional DIY. I'm here for you guys every other Monday for sure. I'm trying to make attempts to post every Monday, so when you hit that subscribe button, please hit the notification bell so you get updates for these bonus videos. Okay, today's video is an exciting one for me. <laughs> If you were here with us over the holidays, you'll know that I posted a pretty attainable holiday gift list. And then I also did a super extra, very personal wish list as well. And on that super extra personal wish list was a pair of these elaborately embroidered mesh gloves inspired by the Gucci ones here. I'm not into paying those Gucci prices, but this is giving me a lot of Gucci style. So I ended up buying a nude and black pair from this Etsy store, and I'm going to be styling these for you today. Now obviously, they're giving off more of a formal vibe, so my goal is to integrate them into casual wear. Alright, let's jump right in. The first outfit we're going to start with is this blue and white dress. It's one of my favorites. Serving up cottagecore realness. <laughs> Someone take me to a picnic. I love how this kind of matches my tattoos on my arm and it just seamlessly blends in. It's perfect for a beautiful day out and about. Maybe going to the beach, park, brunch with the girls, obviously post quarantine. <laughs> All right, moving on. I love me a good lavender and lilac piece and this is one of my favorite colors. I paired it with a matching headband and tutu skirt. It's giving me very tea party vibes. I'd make a pot and maybe watch some Bridgerton in this. <laughs> this is something I would wear to a best friend date. You know what I mean. Different from your normal lunches and brunches with the girls, a best friend date is when you and your best friend take each other out to try a restaurant or go to an event that your boyfriends don't want to accompany you to. So you guys take each other, get all dolled up, take cute pictures, and have a great time. People wonder if you're dating, but you're like, no, we're just soulmates. All right, moving on. Rompers are so amazing. They're a go-to for me on a lazy day when I don't have the bandwidth to match a top and a bottom together, and I don't feel like wearing a dress. These look so cute with my gloves. I can't wait to start wearing this out and about. These gloves really mirror the light and heart in this outfit. I love how it's all black, but it's head to toe floral. The gloves kind of give off the same vibe with it being nude, but having all these black, dark details in the embroidery. Okay, next is a fun one. I think this is a men's top. It's very campy. The pistols just try and look so hard, but you really can't take it seriously because it's so bright and pink. The gloves really help this top from trying too hard to be tough to a fun, lighthearted outfit that plays into that intentional campiness of, I know this looks silly, but I make it look good. All right, next is this outfit. I really wanted to make sure I did a jeans look for each pair of gloves. I paired this one with a sheer polka dotted top. The polka dot top and the gloves go so well together and I'm really happy I found a way to wear them in such a casual way with jeans and sneakers. And last, ugh. This dress is so very on trend for 2021. You'll see a lot of big, flowy, colorful maxi dresses coming up this year, and I'm so excited for that aesthetic. It's such a comfortable trend, and I just feel like a model walking in front of a fan when I walk in something so big and flowy. <laughs> the gloves give it an edge, but it's subtle and interesting. I'd wear this with some rings and maybe a cool headband. It's such a fun look. All right, let's move on to the black gloves. These are great. Just like the first one, they have such a tattoo vibe as well. Definitely a little bit more in the traditional side with the script, little images on each fingers, and the banner. I'm definitely the type of person that does not need an occasion to wear something. I'll find a way. Next is this turtleneck. This outfit was made for these gloves. The turtleneck matches so well, they're like one in the same. So I pair this with this thrifted dress. I accidentally cut it too short, not factoring in my boobs and my butt and how much it would lift the front and the back. So I had to add a little part of the piece that I cut off to add a little length. <laughs> anyway, I added my Vince Camuto boots. I'd wear this any day of the week. Okay, just like the last set, I had to do a jeans and top combo. So I paired my jeans with this Renaissance mock turtleneck and layered it with this oversized button up and these sneakers. It's got a very artsy vibe to it. Okay, this one kinda has the same feel as the pink pistols look. 
I like the three dogs on the front. It's very rap album chic. I think this is a men's jacket, but it spoke to the puppy fever in me. I just had to get it. I paired this with some bike shorts and that Shein top I got from my Black Friday haul. The gloves add an interesting and delicate touch to the otherwise rough guy aesthetic. I love it. Okay, this next look is another mix of aesthetics, like a dark cottage core. Ooh, did I just stumble upon something here? <laughs> I love all those words. Okay, so this top is from Topshop. I love the very proper ruffles in the front, and in the back you have this edgy backless detail with the industrial hardware. I paired this with the black and white gingham skirt for that cottage coriness and boom, I'm ready for a gothic picnic. Okay, now that I think more about this, I love it. Let's make gothic cottage core a thing, people. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Comment on what your favorite outfit is, and please consider liking and subscribing. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys and your support. All right, see you guys next time. Bye.